Hello everybody, my name is Tobin, and today we're getting back into FTL. And this is where we are. <laughs> we just barely made it out of that last sector alive, and we're back down to our just our base 3 crew. And 48 scrap. And, like, almost half of our hull gone. But, undeterredly, we're going to jump into the next sector, which is the abandoned sector of Mantis Controlled. Hmm... I think we could take the Mantis head-on, and they love scraps, so we're gonna jump on into there. Sorry if you hear any squeaking, my stinking paper crane mobile is acting up because my uh, fan is on. Which I wanted to see if this would have any effect. But I wouldn't worry too much about our current situation because uh, we're not trying to beat the end boss. We're trying to, uh, we're trying to just get to... Uh, we're just trying to get to it. I just want to see it. I want to see the look on its face. All right, we have four. We have four gas left, so that means we can do four jumps. Two, three, four. All right. You know what? We need some scrap, and hopefully we're going to have some fuel. All right. There appears to be some sort of research station near Pulsar, although it's hard to tell since you're since a portion of it has been melted. The landing ship has been working on it. It moves in to intercept you, totally oblivious to the threat of the EM pulses. Great! And three shields. So, okay, here we go. And, oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no, and they have a boarding party. Uh, and they're not going to be affected by... Okay, I... Yeah, I made a mistake. Will this be the shortest... Oh, you better stay there. Will this be the shortest, uh, uh, shortest episode of FTL ever? Quite possibly. All right. Okay, you guys need to heal up. Take one hit off of engines. Oh no, Cass, Cassie, no. <laughs> All right. How is their shield still up? Dear Lord. Oh, and the thing has got down, and we're down to so little health. Oh gosh, and we're up, and we're oxygen is off. Um, Coop, hold me. Hold me, Coop. Just. It's all gonna be okay, Cooper. Oh. oh. Well, that's the end of the abject failure. Aptly named. Well, time to start another one. <laughs> Let's get into the hangar. So, uh, barring my um, sadness over the death of that ship. We are not going to be using that same ship, because that ship is a piece of garbage. So, let's see what we are going to play with. Now, let's see. Uh, what does my favorite ship start with? It starts with just the advantage... What is this? Uh, fires a blast of debris across a random area, doing up to three damage. I think that... Uh, I think that that makes it like super good but I don't want to bust out the uh, the Shrike which now that I've read um, the Hyperion Cantos book is uh, named after a character from that book which is pretty neat um, I'm not gonna be using this quite yet uh, what we're going to be using instead is possibly the cheapest ship the Osprey so this has just the burst laser and an automatic laser cannon that just beams through uh, shit, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> so let's see, um, there we've got three different types. Uh, I believe this one, we should look at our list. All right, this ship features the latest in Federation technology and advanced beam weapon that pierces through shields. Or this weapon, this ship starts with additional artillery power, encouraging heavy reliance on the beam. Or with a flak artillery weapon and an improved clone bay, only the most suicidal of infantry choose to fly on this ship. That sounds like what we need, but uh, I think 
we are going to go with just this. And we're not going to um, call it the Osprey, the, we're not going to call it the Abject Failure this time. We're going to call this... The Success. Because there is no way we can't beat this on normal with this thing. So, let's start. Yes, yes, we know that it's vitally important to our our cause. We're going to take that off. Alright, so first things first, we're going to be upgrading our artillery cannon to the max. Uh, ooh. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Let's explore. Great. Just great. Alright, we can do this. We, they only have... Oh, and it's Astro Field. So actually, this is even better for us because the Zoltan Shield should go down before we even need to waste any energy on it. No asteroids. Oh, crud. And the shield's down. Alright, so you're going to be quickest to get in there, and you are going to fire on the shields. Okay, start repair. Quickly! Quickly, lads! We're taking damage already. I don't like the sound of that. Shield? Yes! Haha! <laughs> Alright, now we just have to wait for that. I love waiting for their shields to go down. And then we just... And we just completely obliterate them. Um... You know what? No, we're not gonna accept surrender, because you stinking attacked us, you jerks. So, haha. -ha. You know what, we're going to let our hull beam... Oh, never mind. We're going to just shoot you. <laughs> that works, too. Uh, that was kind of... A little more scrap, but not not that great for fuel. Lost two fuel, but oh well. Alright, so we're going to jump... Ooh, distress. Let's go to the distress. Hey, asteroid fields. And we're not immediately in danger. You arrive at a distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been an illegally mining belt without proper equipment. Well, we'll cut them out nice and easy. Hey, we're getting, we're getting some pretty good scrap. I'm glad. Oh, shoot, I didn't na na rename it for everybody. I'm going to have to do that. Uh, you detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to small fueling outposts. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Um, we're going to defend. Uh, yes, of course we're going to defy you because you're jerks. And we don't like you. So, there. Haha! -ha, miss. But hit. And our weapons are down. Except for our beam weapon. Another miss. Another miss. Hey. What do you know? Alright, beamy. Oh, oh, two. Man. That guy's getting his work out, huh? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna just fire, 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 fire. What do you think of that? Now the beam weapon should just, just, just wreck house. I don't know why I'm I don't know, I don't know why I'm concerned that they, that they have to, um, hey, there we go. I don't know why I'm super concerned about, uh... Oh, I lost my thought, darn. Lost my train of thought. Wow. That guy's not doing so great repairing that engine bay. But, we destroyed them. Haha. <laughs> Ship broke apart, and we got some extra stuff. Alright. So, let's up upgrade. Perfect. <laughs> I should really... Uh, oh, just a nothing. Darn. Warning, quarantine level. Alright, fine. And a store, which we don't need. We can't go anywhere else, so... Store it is. Fine. I don't think we can buy anything. This is where they're gonna have the, uh... Oh, no. Chain laser's pretty nice, but, uh... Yeah, nothing we need. Alright. We are going to find... We are going to get to that, uh... We are going to get to the... 
rebel ship this time. This beacon is placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of there or die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves to engage. Well, you're an idiot. You're attacking the success. The success does not t does not take kindly to your attack, and we will just completely obliterate you. Now we've cut the sequencing of their uh, blaster fire so they can't really... They're not going to charge up at the same rate. Solar flare imminent, imminent. Everybody to your stations. I can't believe how well equipped your ship is. Please take this and let them know. We want... Ooh. We want what we want. Is we want scrap. And you're only useful when you are scrap. So there we go. We got scrap. Now we just need to wait for the jump. Alright, and we're gonna go here, then here, then here, and then the end. We got this. We got this. Ooh, scanners are showing intelligent life form on a nearby planet. Sure, investigate. Uh, we're gonna try to communicate with them peacefully because. Hey! We got another crew ship guy. He was just hanging out there doing absolutely nothing. Well, now, he's going to be doing something. You're going to be on doors for now. Distress A. Send the rock crew in. And we took out the fire. Yay. FTL recharge booster. Nice. Man, we are getting all the good drops right now. <laughs> oh, man. This area shows sign of a battle some time ago. There are scattered remains of ships, but one station appears to be intact. Do we risk it? Yes, of course we risk it. As you approach, it becomes clear that the station is simply an empty shell that's been stripped of useful materials long ago. Darn. I don't know if that could go good or bad, I can't remember. But we're at the end already. Man. Looks like you're a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our homes alive on venture by a trade. We could improve the reactor by one if you have any extra supplies. Yeah, we're not using missiles or uh, drones right now, and that's well worth the uh, extra thing we're gonna have <laughs> here we are at the end and we already have um, our we already have our thing almost maxed out so uh, I guess this is the start of a new run um, the next one will be marked number one because I don't want to give off the fantastic intro that happened but uh, until then I'm gonna just heal everybody and get these guys renamed to uh, somebody some people I actually care about so, until next time, I've been Tobin, and I hope you have a nice rest of the day.